Hi, it's me again with CorelDraw Tips and Tricks. Somebody needed a 3D looking nut, like a bolt and nut, and I created this, and I'm not real proud of it. Uh, maybe I can do better. I've got the threads in there and, and the shadow, and uh, it kind of looks funky to me, but we're going to try it. If, um, most bolts are six, or most nuts are six sided. Holding down the control button, you get a perfect one. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then we're going to hold down the control button on the ellipse and hit P. We're going to actually make this one a little bit bigger by holding down the shift key and letting it grow. And then to make the extrude tool work, we need to have a, instead of two item. So this thing is like 12 inches. We're going to change our nut factor to 14. We're going to take the smart fill tool and just fill that in and nudge it out of the way. And then I can left click and right click. And that, what that did is that allowed us to have one curve. We're going to get the extrude tool. And this is really where you've got to kind of imagine what you're doing. And, you know, you want, just depending on what's, you want to be able to see the, the hole in the center, but it'd be, it'd be neat to be able to see both sides. So if you get this and kind of rotate it, See, that's where I kind of messed up. So now I can see the bottom and the top, and I think that's going to work. Now you need to go to object and break the extrude apart. There's actually the original bolt is on top, and we'll just nudge it out of the way. Then you need to delete the lines that we cannot see or should be able to see. We can't see that line. Um, that's on the back side. That's on the back side. All this is on the back side. You know, we want that hole. Went a little too far. You, you can't see that shape. We want to be able to see that shape in the center or the bottom left because that's going to be part of our shading to give us that 3D look. I've got a little piece right there. I'm going to have to zoom in to grab it. Virtual segment delete key. One more little nib bit. Uh, we can't see that. We shouldn't be able to see this. Uh, we really can't see any of this because this is on the other side of the nut. You just kind of kind of use your imagination. And we're almost done. And then we'll add some shading. I'm going to have to zoom in one more time or just leave it for the video. You need to make sure you get just the not break any wall, wall, walls. So we'll go ahead and take that out real quick. And then we're going to use some shading and we're going to fill this in with a say a light gray we're going to fill this one in uh, with a little bit darker gray at the bottom uh, maybe even at the top maybe put a little lighter gray at the side and then uh, really and truly if you just wanted to do this right here you're pretty much done you know it looks like a 3d bolt but let's try to make it a little bit better. We're going to take this shape and we're going to use a smart fill tool to fill in that shape. And I'm going to left click, right click, and get rid of the, um, now, get rid of the fill. So the, the bolt is kind of going this way. We're going to set our uh, nudge distance on a quarter of an inch. And we're going to control D and make a duplicate and we're going to nudge it over. And then control D again and just nudge it over. And there's probably 10 different ways you could do this. You don't have to do anything now. You don't have to erase some lines. But what I'm going to do now is take the Smart Fill tool on a different color, and I'm going to change my nudge factor back to four, 14 inches, I believe it was. And I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool, and I'm going to fill in that first one and nudge it over. Then try to go every other one. It's a little bit difficult. You might want to zoom in when you're doing this. I think I missed one. Um, you know, one thing you can always do is leave the one you did. And uh, if you mess up, then you'll know where you're at. Maybe one more. Nope, wrong one. But you might have some at the bottom. Um, I'm going to say right 
there. And I think that's good. Well, one more. There should be another one right there. Anyway, kind of a 3D-looking bolt. Um, I am not a graphic artist. I'm just trying to help this person. And I'm a little bit askew from what, which way the bolt is turning. Um, maybe, but to me, it looks like a 3D bolt. I hope that answered their question, and thank you for watching.